Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical and today we're going to have a look at motion and putting in some objects and making them move. So first of all, let's get some objects to put in there. We'll go into Library and we'll go to Content and in Content we'll go to Fauna and let's choose a B and we'll put the B into there. So we got a little B, a very stylish looking B there but he's a B all the same and it'll do. And if I press Play now you can see that he does actually move and he's got wings and makes him sort of look like he's flying so that's quite good but we want him to move so let's see what we can do to make that happen so first of all let's just put him over on this side here and the first thing that we could do to make him move would be to add some uh, behaviors so let's go to our library and go to behaviors let's see let's go for basic motion and we could use a throw so we'll add a throw to the big press play and see what happens not a lot at the moment, but then we have to actually sort of give the behavior some movement. So let's have a look at the uh, HUD, the HUD for this here, and let's send him on its way. So that's just going to have him moving in one direction, and he's winging his way. We can change that by changing the zoom, going to this here, making him go a bit faster. So there he is on the screen, flying away and off into the distance. So that's one way of doing it. So let's just uh, delete the throw for now and use something else. We could add a motion path. So if we had a motion path, let's uh, drag it and drop them onto the B. And the motion path basically it puts in a straight line. So let's just bring the start the motion path over here. And it's going backwards. Let's change the direction to reverse. And this time he's going to fly in from the right hand side and come into the screen. So that's another way of doing it. If we have geometry selected, what we need to do is we need to have a shape source. So let's put a shape in there. So let's just stop him from flying for the moment because he's annoying while he's doing that. And let's make a shape. So let's go to our shape maker thing here. And we're not going to have a fill. We are going to have an outline. And I'm going to start there. Let's make a strange looking path. That can be our shape. So there we go, we've got a shape now. And change the tool back to this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this base shape and add it to the motion path. So here's our motion path. And let's go to the inspector for the motion path and I'm going to take a shape and put it into the shape source. Okay, so we've got the busy in a different group now. So let's go to our motion path now and see if I can select it this time and put it into our shape source so let's grab it drag it over there and now we've got our shape source so let's press play and see what happens so there you go we can see that the b is now following that shape and what we can do is to make our video look a little bit better by turning the shape off and you've got the b just flying around all by itself there how about that then cool or what so what else can we do to make things move in there? Let's put another object in there first of all. So let's go back to the library and we'll go to content again. And instead of flora and fauna, let's go for gadgets. Oh, I like gadgets. What have we got in gadgets? We've got a wall clock, one that goes fast. Okay, that'll do. We'll put them in there. Let's just drag them and drop them in there. So we've got a fast moving wall clock. And we'll size him up a bit first to make it a bit uh, smaller. I've got the shift key held down and I'm keeping him to the same proportion. So there we go. So we've got a clock on there and now let's go back to the behaviors and add a behavior to that. Let's add a move to the clock and here's the clock. And it's going to move this time. So now we can, it's got some moving there going already. And we've got a direction to or from. And we can have a constant speed and we can go for these inner ease out on these things here again as we've done before. And that'll just uh, make the thing move a bit there. We've got a B following the path. And we've got this clock which is doing some movement as well. So let's get rid of this move thing for the moment and try something else there. So let's take the match move and put it onto the clock. And we'll go to the inspector. And at the moment, the moving that is matching is the B. So it's going to match the move of the B. So that's one thing that you can do if you want to match it to uh, something else that's uh, moving in your video. And I've shown you how to 
make uh, objects follow a path. So this is Dave Allen talking to you again from Video Magical. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.